911. What is the location of your emergency? 4748 France Court. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is dead. Okay, send the line for the fire department. My boyfriend is dead. <laughs> Come on, be a bit more believable, girl. All right, Sarah Boone, you're crazy. What kind of story was this? No, no, no crying, no, no franticness. Uh, my boyfriend's dead. She sounds inconvenienced. Do not hang up. Sorry, Rich. Just tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and I put him in a case when we were playing, like kind of hide and seek kind of thing. So I fell asleep, and I woke up, and he was dead in the suitcase. So I don't know what happened. Okay, is he hanging from somewhere? That's a wild first story. You know, like they say, first impressions are like the first thing people are just going to judge you off of. That's a wild first impression to leave. We were playing, and he was in a suitcase, and he's dead. Woo! What, man? No, I pulled him out of the suitcase. He was in a suitcase? Yes, and I fell asleep. Right, is he breathing? No. I need you to get him on the floor, flatten his back for I me, did. okay? I did, I did. I tried giving him CPR. Yeah, okay. He's purple. Bruh. Okay, listen to me. Lay him flat on his back. Okay, he listen, gurgled. Listen, listen to me. I want you to lay him flat on his back for me on I the did. floor. I did. Okay, wait. He's stiff and purple. Okay, man, that's fine. We're still going to do compressions on him, okay? He's stiff and purple. Basically, I'm not touching him. Ew. Place the heel of your hand on his breastbone, right in the center of the chest. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. If I'm okay. looking at him, yes, no. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. They're like he's nasty. Please, okay, he just gurgled. What I tell you, she just screamed. When sometimes when women do that little ah, it's it's not because they're actually they had to scream. It's because they don't want to deal with it, and they kind of just ah, and then they just let the other person do it. Just just I can't handle this. That's what she just did. She didn't she didn't she did not give him CPR again. Okay, listen to me. Place the heel of your hand. Right between his chest, right between his breast bones. Yes. With the other hand on top of that hand. Yes. We want we want to pump his chest to me hard and fast twice per second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, y'all. Let's talk about our good lady, Miss Sarah Boone. Now, let's just call her the suitcase killer. Now, I never thought I'd be saying those words before, but this is a particularly interesting case. Now let's get straight into it. Did you call it? What time did you call it? Hello there. Hi. Hello there. I had a cigarette. I'll get it for you, okay? Wait one second, okay? I really need some drink. Okay, well, I got my doctor's pepper on the counter. Okay, we'll take care of you. Give me one second. Yo, her boyfriend just died, and she, she needs a cigarette. She needs a drink because her throat is part. You know why she needs a drink? Because she's a raging alcoholic. I've had my, I, I work in a kitchen. I'm a chef. I've had my fair share of drunk ass nights. And the next day, you need a drink. But at the same time, if my girlfriend died, I wouldn't be really too worried about a drink. But that's just me, personally. What's going on? What? Who is he to you? Boyfriend? Yes, for like three and a half years. What happened? He and I, we drank last night. We had a Can you pass this to the uh, around to the FD guys? Stop Let's get into it. Don't, sure. don't. I just got here, so fill me in. No problem. Like, yeah, he and I were putting the pencil together. That face on her, just like, I'm not even going to make any comments, but it's just like, it's sending, I'm already judging her, the way she's acting. We've been doing some artwork right there. You are putting a puzzle together? Yes, we have a puzzle that we started in there. Okay. We've been doing art, trying to take stuff off the wall to, to make new art put up there, like having a good time with one another. But we're drinking, we had a bottle of wine last night. Okay. Wine. So then it's like, we decided to play hide and seek, right? Okay. So he gets in the suitcase, okay? Who is this guy? That's my ex-husband, my former husband. He lives here with you guys? No. He lives here with you guys? Okay, okay. <laughs> She's wondering if there's a cuck situation happening. She's like, what's going on here? He's living here with you guys? She. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. So then he came over here. Here, let's talk in private, okay? I called you guys. Mm -hmm. I tried giving you a I, I, The problem is, is I fell asleep. 
I fell asleep. When did you do that? I fell asleep. This morning. I'm there for you, Paul. Yes! Yes! She's trying to simulate emotion and she's doing a terrible job. She might be a better actor when she's not under the influence, but right now she's fucked up or formally fucked up. If you look at her hands every once in a while, you can tell her hands are kind of like this. That's alcohol. Clock right now. I tried. I was awake, but I actually look. got out of the bed. At like no, seriously, look at her hand. When she puts her hand up, I was awake. There's like a, a tremble right there. That's alcohol. 1230 ish, whatever. So I came downstairs okay. and I was like, oh, he's in the suitcase still. Like, that's when I found him and I took him out and I tried doing CPR and then I called him and then I called you guys. I'm gonna have you sit in the green chair at the loo. <coughs> Appreciate you coming in. Yes, ma'am. All right, lead interrogator is a woman. Yeah, woman. We sure. like that. Um, so obviously, um, he received his autopsy. So I'm going to read you your rights again because I, we have to talk about that. And since I'm talking about the incident, we just have to do it. Shout out to my women detectives out there, man. There needs to be more hard, badass female detectives. I feel like women just have more intuition sometimes. So, like, I don't know. It might do better than men. Like, no, it's good to have a pair. It's good to have a man and a woman. I feel like it's good to have both sides. It's a good combo. But just like we did yesterday. Protocol. Just like we did yesterday. Remember I read you the rights? Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's the exact same thing, but since I'm asking you follow-up questions, I need to read them to you, okay? Sure. All right. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning without charge. Bike. Okay. So I don't know. And he's notorious for running into the wall okay. or the hall tree. Okay. So why? This morning we went to his autopsy. Um, and we were informed of some injuries that he has um, by the doctor. So I want, um, so he's got <coughs> scratch marks to his back. I know what that's from. Okay. And um, it's called a contusion. Do you know what a contusion is? So like basically you're getting hit and then, you know, you, you, you get a mark from it. You'll get bruising. Like some, okay. someone hit you or something like mm -hmm. that, it's called a, a contusion. So he had some injuries to his left shoulder. Oh, um, a contusion to his shoulder. He had, um, he had a cut near his like lip. We could see we could see his um, his mouth was a little. Uh, I haven't laid a hand on him. Okay. I <coughs> also too. I. The first thing she says is, "I haven't laid a hand on him." I mean, I guess you are you are in the interrogation room because they kind of suspect you for something or they're just trying to clear you. But why is the first thing is, I haven't laid a hand on him. Now I think you've laid a hand on him. He fell off my son's bike. Okay. So I don't know. And he's notorious for running into the wall okay. or the hall tree. Okay. So why? Okay. He's notorious for running into the wall. I don't, what about the scratches? Because there's also sex. Yes. Okay. Because there's also like a like a scratch on like the back of his neck, like kind of like going, but it's like going straight across. I have no idea what that's from. <coughs> and they're all recent. Like they 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 occurred recently. It wasn't so something she's saying that it's from sex. Or that occurred a week ago, or two days ago, three days ago. They definitely occurred, you know, the night leading up to when he was. In all serious. honesty, all honesty, we have not gotten into it. Okay. That's why, like, the only thing I thought you guys were going to ask me about, which I was going to be honest with you anyway, are the scratch marks on his back. Mm -hmm. Everything else, I have no idea what it is. No okay. idea what it is. Nonetheless, I've had my son over at the house, too, so... Well, your son was there when? When was he last there? Oh, gosh. Last oh, night, gosh. He was there, like, last Tuesday? Last, I don't know if it was Tuesday... <coughs> See, what did, I, what did I say in my last video? When you're not telling a lie, you just give the information up. But she has to confirm and check with herself first. She has to go to her internal office and be like, is this good? Is this good to lie about? Okay, good. Go with it. Go with it. Yes, he was there last week, so... Well, we're talking about Sunday. Yeah. We're, make, we're just talking about what occurred Sunday. 
Because like I said, the injuries are, they occurred within that time period. So you're talking about day before yesterday? Sunday leading into Monday. You Where? called us yesterday at 1, so, but the incident you guys were painting and stuff the night prior. Correct. So we're talking about Sunday and That's then into why Monday. I'm thoroughly confused because <coughs> we had a good time mm -hmm. sitting on the... Keep in mind... Mrs. Boone tried to be the master criminal, ma <laughs> the master criminal. What she did was she did the whole suitcase thing and waited 12 hours before calling the police. So there's a 12 hour gap that she could have just set everything up. There's another channel that talks about the same thing. It's like there's so much time that everything she's saying can be true to the degree of her story that she painted, like everything that she says that they find that checks out can be falsely placed there because she had 12 whole hours before calling the police. It's a little weird, you know? The back porch, having wine and smoking a couple of cigarettes and then decided to go inside and literally paint, do puzzles and play mm -hmm. and listen to music. That's why nobody got out of sorts. That's, this is what's mind blowing to me. Like I don't. We're, we were in there to paint, do puzzles and play. Who the fuck talks like that she's weird she's already sh yeah no like and she's an alcoholic they crack real quickly trust me alcoholics will they'll tell you a bunch of shit real fast in a hurry i have no clue nobody laid a hand on anybody he also had um like on the left side of his forehead he had basically bruising um Damn. and um on like his head and skull. I have no idea. As if something hit him. I consider have not for touched him. Trauma. I have not touched <coughs> him. I have not touched him. Then how would you get those injuries? Tell me and we'll both know. Tell me and we'll I both have know. I have not touched him. Yesterday when we did Ooh, the photographs a... of your overall body um, and they did the buccal swabs, did they go under your fingernails? No. Okay, are you willing to let us absolutely swab underneath your fingernails? Go for it. Okay. <coughs> I have no idea, and I don't want to seem out of sorts, but I have no idea. We had a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. We've had good days lately, mm -hmm. even considering everything that's going on with our jobs and life in general. And There's something about female contact when two women meet each other. I don't know. Men are more of a vibes type of thing I feel like but when women get together and they start talking they really start to figure each other out like really quickly I feel like and this detective right here is figuring her out really fast right now she has a list of pre-made um, assumptions about Mrs. Boone and they're all pretty much correct and she's like oh yeah this bitch is guilty I mean the male detective I'm sure sees it too but I feel like the second she walked in there and started talking to Sarah, it was a little obvious to her because her whole demeanor is just kind of like, yeah, you're, you're bullshitting. If you notice, look at the woman detective. She, her demeanor is like, nah, like she's not even trying to hide it. Thanks, wives and everything. It's been good. Like, I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. The last physical was probably, you said, I think, what, a month ago? Where you got the injury, right? You said that was a I'll month say a ago? few weeks, give or take, yeah. A few weeks. That was the last, like, physical altercation between the two of you? Um, you said a month ago he hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. That's why I can't believe you guys didn't take that either. <coughs> huh. Keep in mind, she just said, we're good. Well, I, I don't touch him. And he just hit, he just hit her across the head with a curtain rod last week or two weeks ago or whenever. He hit her with a curtain rod. Come on, this is toxic, y'all. Like, we've been good. I don't know if, like, it's we've like been the last time he got out of jail. Like, we've been good, and he's been having his classes. Okay, ever since he, he bat socked her with a curtain rod, he's been good. You know, he's been good. Yep. And there's no motive for you to want to lock him in a suitcase and do crazy things to him. And his, seeing his probation officer, who's amazing. So. What do you mean by good? What's your definition of good? The probation officer? Oh, no. You said you guys have been good. What's your definition I've of good? I've been good. 
I don't think you all understand. He comes at me all the time. He comes at me. You're the sissy? So it's either I He's sleep a liar. or try to go upstairs and go to sleep. We're gonna That's expose usually what it liars. is. I don't know if you talk to Brian about any of that, but most of the time when I sleep, I go over there. So. Right, but you're saying that you guys have been good, and when I asked you yesterday, there has the last incident that you could remember was the curtain rod incident, which you said was a month ago. So okay, okay. Right. It wasn't two weeks. It was a month ago with the whole, you know, Barry Bonds bat, baseball bat situation with the curtain rod. Rod, but still, y'all, like, come on, that's not being good. It's being bad. So what do you mean by he comes after you? Like, he gets belligerently drunk. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if y'all have looked through my phone yet and seen any of the pictures and the videos that I have taken. Mm -hmm. And the, at one point, I started documenting everything. Okay. So oh, they've gone through her phone. And trust me, she does not want them in her phone. Now, remember, she's an alcoholic. She's done some things that she doesn't quite remember that's going to bite her in the ass later. You all will see in my pictures bloody fingers, split foreheads, he split my nose. I've got this. Right. I don't know, Brian told you about it, where I had to have almost what? I had one really bad surgery, but then it got really, 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 really bad where I had to go like four or five more times afterwards for them to tend to it, mm -hmm. from him poking me in the back of the leg. Right. So it's... Then why are you still with him? Everybody asks me that. When I tell you guys this, I really love him. Okay. And I do. And I feel like I can help him. Okay. Like, I feel like I... It makes me fractious listening to his music. So I kept asking him, let's not... Just, let's just you and me talk. You and me will just be the ones that are talking. Which was fine, because, I mean, he, we were playing with the dog, whatever. And then it's like, okay, now let's do the painting. We just did the puzzle, took a break. Now let's do this. Sure enough, sat down... Okay, so she's explaining how they were playing two grown-ass 30 40 year old adults playing but anyway um <coughs> you can play it's just a weird ass way of saying that but yeah so they're listening to his music she didn't like it so let's just talk let's just do this remember this is her fantasy situation that happened that nobody else can confirm um, we're sitting in there talking laughing talking about new movies we're watching movie trailers while we're doing painting and all that other stuff. So it's still background noise to him. Look at the detective. Hard face. We're looking from up here, down, but she's just like. Yo, <laughs> she, I mean, she's not trying to play. She's not trying to play the sympathetic side or the praise you for how good you are. So you slip up. Nah, she's like, you're a piece of shit. And I'm going to prove that you're a piece of shit straight up because i think that's what he's used to is having background noise where me i can sit in here all day with not a peep but he always has to have some kind of background noise which i didn't mind because the trailers were cool and he was interested in showing them to me getting excited about movies that were out or upcoming okay so in your laptop you're talking about mm -hmm. like, okay. and i mean and then it, we, it was but you a, said it was a good day like you guys didn't have any have any uh, conversations about your relationship? You guys didn't go down like the rabbit hole, like had too many to drink, and you guys. Okay, even if I hated my part, not hated, but even if I was really not getting along with my partner, I would not be this calm if I just found out they were dead, unless I did it, unless I was happy about it that and I did it. Like, come on. I start when getting I, nope. When like, I unless I did it purposely. It made I should me say. so happy that he actually listened to what I I had to say, with just. We'll get through it. This will be fine. It's just, it's, it's a small hurdle that you and I together will get through because. I'm talking about the money, jobs, stars. Yes. Nothing no. relationship wise though. Like no issues. Relationship well, relationship too. Don't lie relationship, about that. Or was it just about. Just like what's going on right now. Got it. I try to evoke it from him. So he gets it off his chest because I call him the volcano where eventually he's going to erupt. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Blame it on him. Started, you said you played hide and seek like probably three times in your relationship. Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. So That's, it was just kind of like that prop was there and it was there yes. and it was in play because 
Why do you say it like that, though? I would never do that. <laughs> she was like, oh, so that prop was just like there and, you know, it was in play. Yeah, she's good. She's good. She doesn't really do awkward silence. She just kind of stares you down like she I don't know what technique you can call this one, but we're going to we're going to keep on going. You would never zip them up in a suitcase? Uh, well, I, mean, I mean, we were playing. No, I know, but, time, I'm just, but I'm saying I'm, well, I'm talking about hide and seek, which is a game. So. We all know you were playing, in Mama. Our closet, buried all the way to the back. If you, I don't, I know the CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. My son's clothes need to be cleaned out really bad because they don't fit him anymore, and I'm tired of looking at them. So he took it upon himself, including that suitcase, to take it downstairs so we can get all of our clothes, our donations, and everything, and just leave the whole thing by the clothing and shoe thing at my son's school. No, we're just, uh, I'm just asking, yeah. out of the, in the past, like, have, have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not, but obviously no. I understand, you know, you're claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter, you were laughing, yes. he was laughing. Obviously I understand that you were claiming that Sunday. See, she's using these choice words to kind of like subconsciously trigger her. I don't know if you guys are catching that. The detective, are you, it, she, she could have said, um, I understand that you said, or I understand that um, what happened was you guys were playing. You, no, I understand that you were claiming, you know? When you hear that, as an innocent person, you're kind of like, the fuck you mean claiming? That's what happened. You know, I would stop her in that, and she's looking at me crazy? Like, think about it. You're innocent. You're, your boyfriend your girlfriend suffocated in the sheets because you had like you had like the the piece the the anti p stuff in your sheets whatever he suffocated in the sheets it's not your fault and she's looking at you like this and she said oh yeah and you're claiming he suffocated in the sheets you would look at her like bitch uh, let me call my lawyer right now you got me fucked up like right nah but she's just going with it guilty but what I'm just asking is in the past, like, is it something Absolutely that you guys not. normally do? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Um, we were actually this last game running out of places to hide because we have a townhome where it's upstairs or downstairs. So. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm 25, okay, so but I don't play high and seek. Do you remember making any videos or maybe have... You're fucking probably 35 and in drinking years, you're 40. So, like... What are you doing playing hide and seek? Get get it together. Having any cover, anything, any photos, videos. Hey, and shout out to all, again, shout out to all my alcoholics out there. Everybody has their own vice. Everybody has their own issues. I'm just saying she's a piece of work. We don't like her. So I'm a shamer. <laughs> but if you're working through your own shit, everybody has their own thing. So, you know, more power to you. Get through it. You know, more blessings. Is that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? No. <coughs> no. I uh, think I took a picture of a dog. Okay. But your phone is password protected. You have the password. Mm -hmm. He has the facial recognition. So it's not like someone else could be on your phone. No, I have both. But you have the face and the password. Yes. And yeah, but he only has the face, correct? No. To be able to get onto your phone, you told me that he looks at the phone. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought you were asking if I did. Yes, it's me. Okay. Does he have access to your phone? Because you said it's yeah. your phone. Okay. How does, how he, does he get in? Sarah, can I buy your phone? Yeah, it's right there on the kitchen counter. Okay, but how does he get into it? Because it's password protected. He'll, he'll come and get it to me, and I'll just do the face thing. Where sometimes, too, like, he's, <coughs> look, he'll joke with me and say, okay, I need to borrow your phone. And he'll hold up while I'm cooking or doing something do the facial recognition. Okay, so he doesn't know the password and he doesn't have the facial recognition. No. But he is the only other person that would use your phone, I'm yes. assuming, other than... Well, phone. Lucas. Right. But Lucas wasn't there Sunday. I, right. Um, so, to your recollection, no videos on Sunday? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> she's grilling her. You know why? Do you know why she's asking her about videos on Sunday? Do you know? And she's... she's Dotting all her T's and crossing all her I's, drawing a circle around her, making sure there's no ways out so that when they go to court, there's nothing to talk about. You know why she's asking her? Because they already have video that Sarah made with her drunk ass. But what? She doesn't remember. 
You know why? Come on now. Okay. I mean, I like, I guess I thought I, I maybe took a picture of them, the two of Tess and the dogs. Now Sarah's thinking, I know these, I know this feeling. You wake up the next day, you don't know what you were doing and your mind's racing. What the fuck did I do yesterday? Okay. I remember this, but all of this is missing. What happened there? This is happening to Sarah right now in the interrogation room. And it's not, it's not helping her. And George and them dancing, but I mean, or the, it's just Tess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I have something okay. that I want to show you that we found. Um, and it was from your phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see it? If you need to move it around, go ahead. No, I don't remember that. For everything you've done to me. Yeah, for everything you've done to me. Your battery's about to die. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm trying to hear. She said, for everything you've done to me. And I think he said, please let me out. Please, like, he's trying. He knows she's a crazy bitch, right? So he's like, please, just please let me out. P please, just, just let me out. For everything you've done to me. Her heart is dropping right no, now. It last very long. Yeah, it used to last a lot longer than that. I don't know what happened. Okay. Okay. Just scratch it. Just scratch it. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, I was just simply asking because um, you had a, a look on your face when she asked you if you've ever done that before. You looked kind of shocked and. No. Okay. But why did you say it like that? Like. I don't think you all understand who I am. Where? Okay. Well, tell me. I mean, I've always been a straight A student. I am an outstanding mother to my son. Okay. I excel. I am an outstanding mother to my son. I was a straight A student. People don't self-proclaim these things unless they're douchebags. There are some douchebags who just do all the things they say they do, but most of those people don't exist. Most of the time, you're lying. She's lying out her ass because in the interview with her husband, he was, it's evident that she's a terrible mom and he carries all the weight. Oh, everything. I, I would not do that. You wouldn't lock some, zip somebody in a suitcase? Well, I didn't like completely lock it. I mean, okay. I opened it with one finger. I left enough in there for him to get out. Okay. Because you're drunk. She was going to go to jail anyway, with this video or not. This type of person, she was going to go to jail. But how stupid do you have to be to give them a slam dunk? You saved them so many nights of work. Now she could go home to her man. He, she, he could go back to his wife. All of that. They don't have to stay overtime, nothing. They going home. They chilling. Chilling. It's that long. Easy money. Fuck you. You hear that animosity? Fuck you. That's you. Your voice. Stupid. That's animosity right there. That's my name. Don't wear it out. That's my name. Don't wear it out. I can't fucking breathe, Sarah. That's what you just told her. Man, that's messed up. Now you don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it, please. Last, last time we talked to you, you had said that you put him in the suitcase, he had two fingers hanging out. And you I flipped him over. I flipped him over, and that's where it was. There's two different videos and a still picture where, yeah, it shows you flipping him in different positions and him saying that he can't breathe. So this is upside down. So in order for him to have gotten you. into it, it was flipped up. Right. It was flipped up normal. Yeah. Like as if you're packing something. So this is upside down. Guys, this is killing me right now. So this image is upside down, and then 
this small video that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way, closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there. So he didn't, how did that, how did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. <laughs> My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. So, well, so she's claiming she flipped it just because they're still playing. I flipped it. Uh, we were playing. God, how do you even go out with this woman? That's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional, love. No, you told me you went upstairs because what? You were Stopped getting here. ready for bed. Stopped here. Okay, but here? show me where you can see any fingers coming out because there's the end. It's and his head's right here. Mm -hmm. So going like this, rather than going all the way up, it's like this. But why is he saying I can't breathe, and why is he pushing on it as if he can't get out? And it doesn't it's, show a hole. You, there's, there's no, no hole. There's no fingers. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. I don't yeah, know I'd be stressing too, to Sarah. Tell. Like, I don't know, like, what you want me to tell you. I'm just showing you. I'm just telling you what we see and what we've heard from the other I understand. Video. I understand. He's begging to let, for you to let him out. You sound... You're laughing in the beginning, and then in the end, it sounds kind of like a no. It's not malicious. Well, no, not ma hey, hey. If you're just realizing that they're blaming you for her wrongful death or murder, um, you're a little slow, or you're still coming down. It's not malicious. Then what is that? <laughs> what does "fuck you" mean to you? It means "fuck oh, you." Like if you were to, if I were to tell my oh, partner, like he does, like. I get called everything but a white woman, so okay. I, my intention was not to leave him in there. Please understand that. My intention was not to leave him in there. But you went upstairs thinking that he could get himself yes. out, but the video shows That's at why no I told point you. when I see his fingers. He'll and be up here any like minute. It. And then 30 minutes later, he didn't show. And he's telling and you. And I he didn't wake up. Do you he's think he's joking? To he, you told me he was laughing, and I we were before. The video, there's, there's These detectives are good. They work together pretty well. Um, she's talking, going at it, but he's still able to say something with her while she's still talking, and not like undermine her in any way. He's she's saying, um, yeah, you know, you went upstairs, and and he didn't come up, and he's like, yeah, and he's like, yeah, and you're waiting, and. And he never came. So what's all that? But they're in unison together. And it works because sometimes detectives will talk over each other and they'll mess it up. And the, and the client, not the client, but the suspect will kind of like see that and get confidence. But the way these two talk over each other is almost like they, it works. They know each other, clearly. There's no we first got in there? Both of us. Like they know each other more than just like they're, like, they're friends. This video is at 11, 12 when it starts. So was he in there for like a long time prior to you no. recording this? No. No. So it goes from funny to no longer funny. But I you're the only one laughing. But I didn't think that he was like panicky. Like I didn't. I So pushing up on a suitcase saying Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. George has done that in the past before, too, where it's just like he thinks that he's woe is me kind of thing, where it's like, I don't. Well, he's think never been locked in a suitcase. That's no, he but he's never been locked in a suitcase. Of, I thought it was and the, boy the oxygen crawling wolf, crying wolf kind of thing. Okay. And again, my plan. But, that, but nowhere in there is he laughing, is he joking? He is begging. And Sarah, you're the I only can't one laughing. Breathe. Okay. And you're Please. the only one saying derogatory comments. Like your mask. Yeah, and she said, that's how it feels when you choke me. Now, hey, it's wrong, man. Don't don't hit women, don't beat women. Obviously, like, come on. Now, I do believe if it's in self-defense, you need to pr protect yourself. But that stuff, that's out. You know, that's not, that's out. Don't hit no, like, wh why are you choking her? Go fight somebody on the street. Get, then have a chance of getting knocked out. Like, fight a man. Like, what are you, anyway. No, please don't. I don't mean to sound negative, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I can say this, but okay, like it's like you guys are kind of trying to like feed me. Like, no, I'm just trying to show you a video that you no longer. Oh, they're feeding you all right, they're feeding you a buffet, they're feeding you a full course meal, and you're eating it, sweetheart. 
you know, the problem is you're stupid and you're an alcoholic. You should have shut this down and got a lawyer about 15 minutes ago. But what are you doing? Ratting off because that's that's what you do, Sarah. Well, I know what you know. You know what's on that video now? No. You remember making that video? Oh. Why don't no, you remember she... making the video? Probably because we had been drinking. But you weren't drunk. No. Just because I went upstairs and just you because you're us, drunk doesn't you mean that you times that you were not drunk. You said that you had your wits <coughs> about you. You said he had his wits about you. Mm -hmm. You said that you don't like not having your wits. In my experience, if somebody cannot remember doing something to the extent of making two videos and a video and taking a photo, they are intoxicated. Badly intoxicated. I understand where you all are coming from. Well, we're just trying it. to make sense of it. We're trying to figure out what you're saying. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. Let's just leave it at that. Just like you don't know why you went upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. So... Can, that are dealing with, can, uh, I do, can I call you the way that I did last time? Yeah. I get it. Look, I get it. That looks really bad. <laughs> so that's what scares me. It, like, what do I need to plan on? It like, looks what bad. What do I need to plan on? I promise you, on my son's life, it was not intentional. I promise you, okay. on Lucas's life, it was not intentional. <clears throat> I don't know you. I can't say I know anything about you. I don't know what is, what would be a true statement, what would not. I mean, if you're promising on your son's life, that's fine. <laughs> that's how much it means. Sorry. That's how much it means. Look, that's how much it Look, means. That's how much it means. I hope you take that to heart. Let me have some tequila. That awkward no, silence. You said that, yeah. I get it. Do you have any idea when I can get my phone back? You're not getting your phone back, sweetie. Man, shout out to these two. I like her. She that detective is she bad. She don't do something wrong and get and see her in the room. You might you might want to just ask for a lawyer. And my boy over here bad too. He's over here acting all nice. I bet you they rotate. You know what I mean? I bet you he's the dickhead like after this, and she's the little sweetheart in the corner. You know? But um, yeah, no. There's a lot of information on Sarah, so we're gonna come back to Sarah for sure. Um, this is a much longer interview. I just cut out the juicy pieces, man. Um, I might take a few little less you know less interesting parts in and clip them here and there but um hope you guys enjoyed you know see you in the next video i love you guys for 1500 subscribers damn near we're we're going man we're we're, we're going so keep it on going tell your friends tell your mother tell your auntie hit the subscribe love y'all see you later peace